This demonstration will provide an introduction to the Expo Max Tester 5205 Intelligent Optical Channel Checker. To begin with, it is crucial to know that the spectral range includes the C-band, which extends from 1527 to 1567 nanometers or 196 terahertz to 191 terahertz. This range is most frequently used in conjunction with dense wave division multiplexers. The 5205 has a button that can be activated by a short press to power on, while a long press will deactivate the device. Notice the 7-inch color tablet screen which displays the available apps. The IOC app is used to perform an acquisition. Connector Max 2 is used in conjunction with the Expo Fiber Inspection Probes or Scopes. The Power Meter VFL will allow you to test the power of various wavelengths as well as send a visual fault locator light, which will send a red light out to identify faults in the fibers. File Manager and Data Mover allow you to save your files and then move them to removable storage or another location. Configuration is the system settings. Then you have documentation which is the onboard manual for the meter. There is an Internet Explorer for browsing the web. VNC, or creating a virtual network connection to connect to it remotely through its IP address. FTP for sending files. Expo Connect, if your organization uses it, it is available here. And then Test Flow. If you are using an application and wish to return to the home screen, simply press the designated home button. In addition, there is an LED indicator that displays the current battery status. Green ranges from 25% to 100%, yellow ranges from 10% to 24%, and red is below 10%. On the top, there is a storage compartment designated for the stylus. Upon examination of the open power meter, you can see that it is equipped with an SC connector. This specific location serves as the designated point where you can connect a fiber optic cable to perform a visual fault locate. On the right side, you will find the RJ45 cover, as well as two USB ports and a power connection cover, allowing you to power the unit and charge it. We commonly refer to the fiber connector as an EUI. Upon inspection, you will notice that it is also SC. Pay attention to the green base surrounding it, which indicates its APC. It is important to note here that it is critical to always scope and clean if necessary. Then you see that there is a DWDMC band channel checker module. It has an LED on the face of it. On the rear side, you will find the model number together with the serial number of the device, as well as the month and year of its production. This information is crucial if you need to contact our technical support or send it for servicing. Additionally, you will also observe a small icon here denoting that the unit is equipped with Wi-Fi, meaning that Wi-Fi is available. As the Max Tester 5205 is deployed in the field and that the IOCC app is started, you will notice the activation of the Intelligent Optical Channel Checker app on the module. On the home screen, you can click on User Preferences to configure your test. After clicking on the Scan button, you will be connected to a dense wave division multiplexer which displays numerous channels. By accessing the table view, you can conveniently examine the individual channels and observe the frequency associated with their respective ITU channel identifications. Observing the power levels allows you to detect variations in their values. Specifically, some power levels may display readings in the negative 40s, suggesting a lack of light. This indicates that these power levels are currently inactive, potentially provisioned but not utilized. On the other hand, you will also come across power levels that are operating efficiently. You are now ready to conduct a dynamic scan of these channels. If you have any concerns, you can proceed with a more comprehensive investigation within the multiplexer.